Gunfire, almost background noise now in Mogadishu. People have just had to learn to avoid any stray bullets. On the 7th of May, hardline Islamists intensified their offensive against Somali's transitional government. Leading the movement to overthrow the government is a rebel group called the Shabab. The Shabab is a collection of militias, semi-independent, often made up of between 10 and 15 men under a commander. Their aim is to establish a caliphate, that is, to return to some kind of Islamic republic, run according to Sharia law and God's will. The Shabab is supported by the forces of Sheikh Hassan Dawir Ahwiz, a veteran of the Somalian Islamist movement and one of the founders of the Islamic courts. As is Sharif Sheikh Ahmed, current president of Somalia. In the summer of 2006, the two men, then allies, temporarily controlled Mogadishu. But since then, they've taken different paths. Sharif Sheikh Ahmed, a moderate, was elected by parliament in January, and the Shabab are determined to get rid of him. Sheikh Sharif is a former leader of the Islamic courts and he had a certain aura to those in the Shabab. The fact that he cooperated with the Somali parliament that convened in Djibouti, for them, he is now linked to the big American devil. Civilians are caught up in the chaos. Fighting has killed 300 since the beginning of May. The UN says around 26,000 have fled Mogadishu in recent days. And 159,000 have been displaced in the last six weeks. Civilians rarely receive desperately needed food aid. It ends up on the black market. And in certain regions, inflation has hit 300%. You see, we don't have enough money. We can't even make a shelter for our children. Before, to make a little money, I did washing, but we had to flee. As the situation continued to spiral out of control, Somalia's government declared a state of emergency and pleaded for neighboring countries to send troops to stop the rebels destabilizing the country and the entire region. The Shabab warned off any intervention. A spokesman declared that foreign soldiers would be sent home in coffins.